Hey, what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in Anno 1800 Quick Tip and Trick Series. So today we got special episode number 9 and it is something that you probably don't know. So in a game there's a credits button, but usually nobody clicks on it because credits are usually boring, but not this time. This time you can watch Anno 1800 Jorgensen Musical. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. There's already someone out there. Of course there is. I told you we're late. How do you look? I'd presumed we would be fully rendered. No, only in 2D. They went and splurged the entire emergency budget on sausages for the Anno Union. This union business was a nonsense. We are to look shabby chic because of it. Whatever next, my dear Tanya, shall we abandon it all? Are you crazy? No! We see this through. And stop calling me Tanya. I'm Bente. Stay in character. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the dress rehearsal of The Jorgensen's The Musical. Not Anno 1800 The Musical, then? Nope. I gave the libretto some welcome revision last night. Uh, I'm not sure if Her Majesty would approve. Perhaps over tea at the palace we could discuss your designs and... Uh... And what, Grandpa? Get with the program. The Anno series has its best moments behind it. The Jorgensons, on the other hand, are rising stars in the strategy universe. Rumour has it Ubisoft already plans a whole new franchise, with me at the helm. Oh dear, Tanya. Please, can we stick to- How many times? It's Benta, not Tanya, thicky. How do you both look? Uh, equally as flat as you are. With the teensy difference, we lack the pink tutu. Oh, that! I like to wear it in private. But we are not in private. You are here in the role of Anno AI. Karl Leonard von Malching, ill-tempered industrialist. Poppycock! Don't be such a prude. How do you know I haven't been wearing a tutu all along? You only ever see my top half in game. Too much info. What does everyone have against mine tutu? I think it's time you all took stock. I hereby solemnly confess I wear a pink tutu. From late at night till morning dew, I wear a pink tutu. I wear a pink tutu. Yes, thank heaven above. Avoid me, belittle me, oh, how it flatters me, and it fits like a glove. I wear a pink tattoo, in contempt of my character rules. When I appear, it's true, I wear most certainly something beneath made of tulle. I wear a pink tattoo. So, before you begin to poo poo, take time to scrutinize. Please try to recognize that I wear a tutu. Shut up! No, I refuse to be quiet. Now everything's out in the light. If in the loading screens, the harbor, or in the trading menu. Forever I'll wear a tattoo. <laughs> I think we get it. Good! Then we can begin. Uh, one moment. Her Majesty has not arrived yet. I did not know the Queen was part of this. I thought we cut that witch out. We did. When Archie says Her Majesty, he means... Me! Oh, golly gosh! You said it, worm. Kneel before the one true god of Anno.
of your groveling. Rise, mortals. Now, which role do you see for me in your little drama? To be honest, none, your majesty. We could never have dared hope you would participate in so irreverent a trifle. <laughs> your attempts at flattery are futile. I am going to pawn a game of 1404 now. When I get back, this will be Checksum 9, the musical! There you are. I thought you may have begun without me. Who, or better, what, are you? But I'm old Nate. Don't you recognize me? To be honest, uh, no. I thought we looked shit. I'm sorry, Nathaniel, but in this condition it is impossible for you to take part. Don't do this to me. You know how I love musicals. Nothing personal, chum, but you look unspeakable. I know. A lowly intern painted me and he was bad. I know, I have no proper face and now I look like a disgrace. I know, a lowly intern cobbled me, the team just stood and laughed. I know, for colour there's no money in the purse. In the midday sun, in shoes I look ten times worse. So it's my fault. You say that I am in. My heart it breaks in twain. And if I cannot sing, woe, what will I do then? Oh, come now. Just no. Yeah. I saw the old thing coming. Now it's time for me to go. Dear mother, she was a sketching book, and even she loathes how I look. A shame he has taken it so badly. He thinks Anno is so boring, he really looked forward to the musical. But the game is jolly boring. Half the time I'm asleep before anyone discovers my island. You're telling me. An evening of Anno takes forever. Luckily, most of us fast forward. When your ship has you snoring, when the waiting is boring, I click fast forward. He simply clicks fast forward. Is my island warehouse bare? Is that just too hard to bear? Then I fast forward. Then he fast forward. You are so I'm 
Something's wrong. The lighting should be different somehow. The sun should be... What is it this time? If I ever make it into the game without one person complaining, I'll eat my hat. Come on then, you bright sparks. Give me an entry in the options menu. That wheelie bin for half-finished features. Or even better. How about a day-night cycle, huh? Then every five minutes, I concede my throne to a rotten cheese. Uh, did someone call for me? Peeps, in the old days, nobody needed that. The world was in 2D. Everybody was happy they could see anything at all. I think the sun is burned out. Where's the ambulance? Choose your flag. Oh, what now? You don't recognize it. This is how we looked in 1602. No portrait? Nothing? Only a color? He is not allowed to join. You can't play with us. You are playable. But no one really gets to know. So true, it's far too blue. War has been declared upon you. Shut it. Anyone have a light? You will be cursed for this act. This is becoming ridiculous. You have failed. No! My Toto! Oh! Made of paper. Oh, horror, oh, pain. Who came up with this stupid play? All of it burns, the air runs out. Will this ring our doom about? All of it burns, my pink too, too. It's much. Too soon for me to be through. Everything burns, everything smokes. Where have all the code has gone when the need provokes? The moral of the story is simple. <laughs> Without me, it doesn't work. See you in Anno 1305. <laughs>